Round one, we're definitely going to play first, and we are oof, probably mulliganing this. I'd need runner runner lands is the problem. If I was on the draw, I'd almost think about it, because Galvanic Bombardment Thermo Alchemist is really nice, but yeah, this just isn't good enough. Oh man. I This is better. It's not great, but we'll, we'll make it work, I suppose. This is pretty terrible. Subjugator Angel almost makes this a mulligan to five, but with a scry, I'm hoping that I can hit like another two or three drop creature, and then we can kind of curve out from there. Opponent did mulligan as well, so that makes me feel a little bit better about this. Alright, Thermo Alchemist is great. That's something that we're perfectly fine having. And let's jam this Moreland Drifter and start working on beating our opponent to death. Get that down. Hopefully they don't have too much to race us with here. Ooh, actually... Speaking of curving out, Brazen Wolves was a fantastic draw for us. I like Thermo Alchemist, but there's no way that it's substituting for Brazen Wolves here. Oh, is our opponent stuck on land? Oh, they are not going to race us with just the Tattered Haunter if that's the case. No, they're not stuck on land, but it doesn't look like they have a play. Vildin Pack Outcast. Would not mind drawing a Plains here. Gets me a little bit closer to Subjugator Angel and lets me play the Outcast. Just the wind. Sure. My opponent has to use their whole turn doing that. I'm okay with it. And we both basically just... It's like a total board stall. Neither one of us did anything for those two turns. I replay Blight Brazen Wolves. My opponent uh, plays the Just the Wind, so it just is kind of a stalemate. And Apothecary Geist, sure. Just get the Brazen Wolves in. We can play the Explosive Apparatus and the Thermo Alchemist. And hopefully draw a land for Vilden Pack Outcast. Because that's what we really need to be doing. Outcast is a huge beater here. with both. So I imagine they have some kind of blocker for the Moreland Drifter, or they wouldn't be doing that. Folly is Lancers. Yeah. Okay. That is certainly a thing. I wonder if this person got the Jace that we had to pass. Ooh, ride down. Okay. Perfect. Whew. That really saved us. I was thinking that we were dead here, but ride down is... Such a great draw. Yep. I mean, it makes total sense to block. Deal some damage. And pass the turn. That was a big swing. Now the question is, are they going to hit us back for four again, or do they have like do they have something good that they can actually attack for four? If they attack with both, then I'm a little worried still. Yeah, all right. Definitely still worried. I need to have a have time to explosive apparatus away this tattered haunter. Cryptolith fragment. Ooh. Hmm. Attack with Brazen Wolves. And then play Fragment? I guess actually if my opponent... Opponent has to have something here. Or I can just Explosive Apparatus and Thermo Alchemist and they die, right? If they don't block Brazen Wolves. So, like, I can attack with both because they have to block the wolves. Unless they have a trick. They do have two cards in hand and three mana untapped, so it's certainly a thing that we have to worry about. But, honestly, I'm going to go for it. I think we just attack here. Dog Skull Shield, mate. Sick. 
That's... Yeah, that's bad. They still are chumping the Brazen Wolves unless they want to eat the Moreland Drifter. If they, if they want to eat the Moreland Drifter. If they want to take the two, then they can trade with the Wolves. Alright. That's not too bad. We'll just play... The Fragment, I think. I could shoot down the Tattered Haunter. But I think Fragment's enough of a threat that it's better to get it down. With that and Explosive Apparatus, we're just winning the game. We just have to survive here, and I don't think our opponent can kill us. They have only one card in hand at the end of the turn. They're only dealing us four in the air. Block the Drog Skull Shield, mate. Attacking us to four. Have a way to gain life. Kill the Fragment. What do they have? Laboratory Brute. Well, that's not going to do it. I think we get there. Put them to six. Yeah, this will... This should do it. Just get in with the Aurora. And they go to two, and we can shoot them with Explosive Apparatus. Even if they don't take the damage, Explosive Apparatus puts them down, and then Thermal Alchemist finishes the job. Mm-mm-mm, that Thermal Alchemist... And not to mention, Cryptolith Fragment was a pretty big deal there. That was a close game. Opponent has Subjugator Angel, Geistly Archives, and Storm Rider Spirit go to their graveyard off the Laboratory Brute. Oh, and Chilling Grasp, sorry, it's top four cards. Hmm, good to know. So they're pretty big on flyers. Makes the Spectral Reserves a little bit worse. Mostly because the flyers that I saw from them were bigger than, uh, like, X ones. I could trade with Tattered Haunter, which is kind of nice, but not sure how much I love that. Make Mischief could be okay, although it's the same issue. Spectre Reserves does let us, like, chump block in the air so that we can get in on the ground still with, like, bigger creatures like the Brazen Wolves. Hmm. I think that it's okay. I think we leave it. Yeah, I think this is fine. I don't really see the need to put in, like, a Dance of Devils defensively or Make Mischief. We only saw the Tatter Haunter that Make Mischief really gets. If there's a couple more Tatter Haunters or something, then I'll certainly think about it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason to change, so we'll just jam. Okay, what do we have now? Uh, not the most aggressive hand, but certainly a keeper. If I can draw a 2-drop, that'd be perfect. 3-drop, 4-drop, 5-drop isn't the worst. Obviously much better if we have a 2, but... Can't complain too much about this hand. Devil, Thorn, Fox. You bet. Well, maybe Make Mischief is better than I think. Make Mischief's pretty good against Devil Thorn. And Devil Thorn's good against the Brazen Wolves, which is unfortunate. And Thraben Inspector. It's funny how aggressive both of our decks are. Okay, I can stop drawing land now. That would be nice. At least Spectral Reserves is pretty decent here. And I don't think they can attack with Devil... Okay. Well, never mind. Like, are they really willing to trade 3 for 4? I guess. They are ahead on the board so far. I'm definitely taking the damage, because I've got the Spectral Reserves, and Brazen Wolves is getting back for 4. Afterwards, I can have Ride Down up at some point, just to kill it that way. Let's smash with the Wolves. One of them might just chump block with the Thraven Inspector. Yeah, alright. That's perfectly fine. And reserves. Life point swing there is pretty decent too. 
The one nice thing about having this much mana is that Vilden Pack Outcast was in our opener, and that is a card that is mana hungry. Dawn Griff is certainly annoying. Gonna cause us some issues. I don't think that we attack Brazen Wolves in because then it just, you know, ride downs the Devil Thorn Fox. I don't really need to use Ride Down on Devil Thorn. It's not doing anything currently. If I play the Vilden Pack Outcast then I make it so that my opponent has to double block it, and then I can ride down and get a blowout. I like that a lot more. So I think Vilden Cast makes more sense here. Let's just pass the turn. Question here is, if opponent attacked the Dawn Grip, do I double block with the Spirits? I don't think I would. Oh, and they are going to attack with Dawn Grip. No, they're not. Never mind. Oh wow, Drog Skull, Shieldmate, and Ride Down. This is gonna be a blowout if my opponent blocks incorrectly. Let's get in with their Vilden Pack. I think that our opponent will double block too. They've, they've got to do a double or triple block. And basically, no matter what they do, uh, Vilden Pack is just gonna live. Nothing. I'm very okay with that. So pay one, and then we'll play Selfless Spirit into Drog Skull Shieldmate. Like, hold up the Drog Skull. I think that's okay. Yeah, this is fine. Opponent is really stuck on mana. Let's see if they attack the Dawn Griff. Nope. I think that I play the Drog Skull Shield made actually. I still have the ride down. Although it does mean that the Vilden Pack would die then. I should have played Moreland Drifter and just pumped this one more time. This does give creatures indestructibility if I really want to. Alright, I'm gonna play Drog Skull. Let's just keep the pressure up. Another land. That'll let us uh, transform Vilden Pack if we want to. So let's jam in, I think. Again with the Brazen Wolves. I guess I should have waited because Drog Skull and uh, Brazen Wolves against the Devil Thorn Fox is pretty good too. If I transform it, it doesn't die. Let's just transform. If the opponent has something, then I can selfless spirit. Nope. I think that they just didn't realize that I could do that. Because they could have blocked the Dawn Griff as well and actually threatened to kill the Drone Pack Alpha. Or Drone Pack Kindred? Is that what it is? When it flips? Either way. They could have done so, they could have done a triple block there. It still wouldn't have worked out for them just because of the cards that we had in our hand, but and and the selfless spirit, I mean, was insurance there anyways. But yeah, I, they definitely should have triple blocked that if they were gonna block at all. They were in so much trouble for not drawing land though. We got really lucky here. For once it wasn't me. Alright, we get to go to a round two. Let's do this. My opponent has uh found us out. We are in fact full forcing. Alright. This is a sweet hand. 